My name is Christian with Train Ace. Today I'm going to be doing a demo with Hydra 7.5 to crack SSH logins. Um, before we start using Hydra off the bat, we're going to need to install some things. Uh, in the demo, I'm using Backtrack 5 Revision 3, and here's a list of things we're going to need. Uh, LibSSH Dev, Hydra 7.5, and the Rocky Word List. So, first, let's install LibSSH Dev as it will give us the prerequisites to use Hydra to crack SSH logins. So type the following command to install libssh dev. If you're on a regular Debian box, you might have to do a sudo in front of it. If you are on a backtrack box and you already are root, you shouldn't have to do that. You should just be able to do apt get install libssh dev. So, once that's installed, uh, we can immediately move to installing Hydra. Well, we'll be installing the newest update of Hydra, which is 7.5, like I said. So, we're going to wget that from uh, thc.org. So, we're going to do wget http www.thc.org releases hydra 7.5.tar.gz got that and now that's in our home folder right here we can actually extract it and change directories to that folder so we're gonna do a tar xvf hydra tar so that's done so now we're just gonna cd hydra so now we are in the directory so the way to actually install hydra is you're gonna check out this configure file right here. So you're going to do a period forward slash configure make. That's going to go through. It's going to check all of the uh, libraries and all that other stuff. So like if you're going to be doing like Postgres SQL, you're going to need that. PRC, you're going to need those. SVN, you're going to need those. All that stuff. But we're worried about our SSH which is found right here. So now once that's done you can just type make and then once this is done making it you can actually do a make install. Now all we got to do is uh, make install, and there you go, Hydra 7.5 is good to go. So everything will be ready to use with Hydra, uh, even though everything is ready to use, uh, we don't have any word lists, or good word lists, so we're going to download the Rocky word list, as it's one of the best word lists for public use, it's publicly available, so let's go wget, http, downloads, skullsecurity.org passwords rockyou.txt.bz2 now this is a big big file um, lots and lots and lots of words uh, I think it's a 60 million word list 60 million words word list um if you don't want this big one or you want like certain types of password lists you can either make them yourself um, or go to skull securities download page and they have a great length of passwords they're all av available for private or public download they do have some private downloads that aren't available to the public but obviously you don't need to worry about those but they have a lot of publics they have the rock U, they have another version of the rock U, all that stuff so if you need it just go there so this is actually going to take a little bit to download just because it is a big file. But once we're done with this, we're actually going to have to extract it with uh, bzip2, which is bz2. But once that is all done, we should be able to run Hydra and crack SSH. So before 
I do that. I'm going to open up a terminal, and I'm just going to do an nmap, and, and then I'm just going to do it against our metasploitable box here. So that's 172, 16, 31, 211. going to run a scan against it to make sure the SSH is open. Another way I could have done this is probably just SSH 172.16.31.211 root, or I should actually just do root at. So you want to type in yes, it's asking for a password, let's make sure it's up, into the password. Ah, I have to actually set up, because the root account is disabled, so you want to set up MSF admin, and then enter the password, you're in, so the SSH is up. It also says right here, SSH is up. So now that our word list is done downloading, I'm actually going to extract it with a bzip2 tag d rocky text.bz2. and then it'll be extracted. So now you have a word list. You can use this word list for passwords and usernames. So you can set the word list to be your username field and your password field, and it'll run through all of them. Uh, but for this demo, I already know the username and the password of the box, uh, which is going to be MSF admin. That's the username. Um, but since I know the actual password, it might be in this list, but I don't want it to go all the way through and actually have to go through all of it, I'm actually going to vi rocku.txt and when it loads I'm going to go like 30 down or maybe less than that, maybe 30 down and just put the password in this list just because we don't want to be sitting here all day. So there's that. I'm going to save it. And now once it's saved, we can actually use our Hydra command. So I'm going to clear out this terminal. I'm going to run Hydra. So as you can see, it's Hydra 7.5. Now we're going to do a Hydra. We're going to do S22. That's our port. We're going to do a capital V. That's for verbose. We're going to do an L which is a login, so we're going to put the user, so MSF admin, and then we're going to do a capital P, which is a password file, so we're going to do root hydra 7.5 rocky.txt I'm going to do attack lowercase t, and that's how many tasks, I've noticed if it's above 10, it likes the error out, so I'm going to put 10 or below, and it's going to do 10 tasks at a time and then I'm going to put our target IP, which is 762.13.31.211. And then you're going to put SSH. And now this will actually run Hydra on port 22, verbose, with the username MSF admin. Password is going to be the Rocky list with 10, 10 tasks running. So once, once I run this, which it already has, uh, it will start running through every password one by one. And Hydra cannot guarantee a password will be cracked, but if you have the right password list and user list, you have a possibility to crack them. So if you know the username already, so if it's just like your base root, and you know the type of passwords that the people might use, and you create a word list, or you find a word list, and then you run against it, you might be able to find the password. But like I said, it's all depending. Uh, dictionary attacks only work if the password is in the dictionary. So, as you see, Hydra attempted nine times. Tried one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, all these. Still running. Got a little bit of protocol errors, that happens. 
trying again. And like I said, if you get protocol errors like this, don't be afraid just to cancel it out, clear it out, and lower your tasks. Just do eight. Eight tasks should allow it to just go. So if ten does not work for you, try eight. Um, it's going to try to ask you to restore the file from the last session. Don't, because then it's just going to run the ten tasks in. So here you go, it's running. But once Hydra finds the correct password, it's going to uh, reveal it to you at the bottom of the list somewhere down here. So, like, say Rocky was the password, it'd be like, login, green, MSF admin, pass green, rock you. It'll be in green, and it'll tell you, hey, you know, here's your password, we found it. And then all you got to do is, if you're doing a pen test, write all the passwords down you found out, tell them how you did it, what word list you use, all that stuff. And once you find every, all the information out, you report it. If you're doing a pen test, be like, hey, you have weak passwords, I used this public word list, etc., etc. Now, I don't know why I'm still getting protocol error here. I'm going to try to run it six tasks. I'm going to double check that we have the correct IP address. Ah, that's why. Remember to always make sure you have the correct IP addresses, folks. That is a definite thing you want to keep your eye out for. So actually, I'm going to clear out everything. I'm going to put this back to 10 and let it go again. So it's going to ask you to abort. Let it go through. Let it run that 10 seconds. Let it run again. And it should start attacking. So like I said, remember to always get your port correct because as you see, it is now going as fast as it can. And there it is right there. Login, password. So, I'm going to pop open my other terminal again. I'm going to clear. I'm going to do SSH. And then MSF admin at 172.16.31.211. And then I'm going to enter the password, MSF admin. And I'm in. Alright, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you learned something. Um, Hydra also has multiple upon multiple um, cracking types, especially since it's a fast parallel network password cracker. Um, it also has a GUI. I'll pull up the GUI right now. Uh, it's called GTK. It has a GUI. So you can add your target, your target list, you can prefer IP, IPv6, you can figure out whatever port you want, whatever protocol you want, there's a bunch, VNC, XMPP, TeamSpeak, SVN, SSH, RSH, RLogin, RExec, RDP, POP3, you know, IRC, IMAP, HTTP, HTTPS, Git Proxy, etc., FTP, FTPS, everything. Uh, you can use SSL, you can be verbose, uh, passwords and username lists right there. You can try your login as a password, try empty password. Um, you, you can have a proxy specific 
like attack. You can figure out the number of tasks, uh, the timeout, um, exit after first round pair, everything, and then you'll have all your output. So, like I said, I hope you learned something from the video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at ccrank, that is C-C-R-A-N-K, at trainace.edu. Thanks.